Hello, I'm Eileen Marcus, and I'd like to talk to you about the art of doing nothing. There it was, nothing. I used to be very busy on the go, how to fill up my day. And as I get older and wiser, I'm learning that nothing really is something. And it really helps me to focus in the things that are important to me. I have to keep pinching myself to make sure that it's real and I'm still awake when I'm actively doing nothing. But it really does help me to calm myself, sleep better, and watch the world in a way that I didn't during the years I was working, raising kids, you know, chasing the buck and everything else. So how do I do nothing? First of all, I do not jump right in. I don't say, yes, me, this, that's what I used to do. Now I say, I'll see, or I really have to just clamp the lip and say nothing. I watch, I wait, I learn. I also make no underlying assumptions. I used to think I was the only one who could help. I knew it all. I was the one that would get it. Not true anymore. Now, there are a lot of people who are knowledgeable and smart. I might be the person you call first, but that doesn't mean I have to be the one to jump and help. And that is a big lesson to learn. Then when I'm done not jumping right in and making no underlying assumptions, I do no second guessing. If you're like me, then you start saying, oh, maybe I should have done that. Maybe they needed me. I hope it turned out. No, I don't follow that idea anymore. I just put my hands together and let it pass and think about what do I want to do to protect my Zen, my calm, and not jump right in. How do I focus on my priorities? And one of them is being still and letting the world happen around me. So I sit, I sip my coffee. I look, I watch the clouds pass and I sit and do nothing. And you know what? That has made me calmer more present and more available for those things that I really need to be available for. Can you sit and do nothing too?